Hello everybody and welcome back to my first video in a long time. In today's episode and hopefully in several episodes to come, I will be playing Kenshi, a game that I've been playing a lot in the last few weeks and I really enjoy it. So for the sake of uploading something to YouTube again, because it's so freaking hot in Sweden right now so I can't do anything for my stop motion series because I don't really have the drive to post figures, move them, take another photo for hours in this extreme heat. So that's where you can most likely hear my fan in the background, and I've been playing Kenshi. Now, in Kenshi, you can play it almost however you want. You can have a lot of different professions, you can play it very freely. And I really enjoy this game. So for this video, and for the future videos, I started a new game. Where I'm actually starting with five characters, well, me and five characters. And I'm going to have my main character being a skeleton. And the skeletons in this game is, well, they look like robots. And they are quite hated in Holy Nation, which is where I actually have my other playthrough, that is basically this entire region. So I'm going to try to stay away from there as much as possible, and I'm going to try get my way up to Mongrel, that is over here in the Foglands. Because I have a mod that makes it possible for me to hunt the fogman that lives there and actually sell their, well, body parts. Welcome to Kenji. <laughs> so, uh, let's just see what we got, because it said you were going to start with building materials. And I start with a lot of building materials. Ooh, a blueprint. Resize... Oh, wheat straw farming. Nice. And I also saw that this guy, Old Soldier, is wanted for 20,000 cats in Holy Nation. Would be really fun to actually turn him in, get the money, and... Um, and go from there. Would be quite interesting. Because... let's see here. Admag is there, that means the hub and that's over here. Blister Hill is up here. Bad teeth. Ah, I think we actually need to pass through Holy Nation territory. So let's uh, less yapping, more tracking. Worst thing that can happen is that everything goes to hell. Okay, let's see if they want to run all together this time. Here we go. Well, in the world of Kenshi, you can either save every five minutes and reload if something terrible happens. And since it's Kenshi, it can go from, oh, this is not too bad, to what the hell is happening and what's going on in more or less no time at all. Really? Already dis- ah, oh, Squin. Yeah. Let's drop by there first. Squin is belonging to the Sheks, which... Uh, it's actually hard to describe a Shek. I would say alien, but it's not really an alien looking figure. But at the same time it is. So maybe just go in there quickly and grab some uh, food. Because I don't think any of my guys had food with them. Oh yeah, I had some rice. I have nothing illegal on me. Check me all you want. Why is there so many people here? Oh, by the way, this is a check. <laughs> Why is there so many people here? My previous, well, my other gameplay, it's not this populated here. The streets are empty. And the guards somewhat hate me. <laughs> Even though I didn't do anything. They attacked me first. It was self-defense, officer. So let's see if we can find a companion here that is cheap or free. Wolf, you're up. Let's see. Check Kingdom, Check Kingdom. Here's a Drifter, Oran. Perhaps. Then hire me. Do you have any skills? Let's see. Scouting, not bad with a bow. As long as you're free, I guess I can take you. Heh. 
He wants to be a warrior. 3,500, sorry. Maybe when I've uh, turned in my companion to the authorities, I'll, uh, I'll hire you. If I'm ever coming back here. In Kenshi, you have this, your uh, cats. I, w I want to say caps, but it, it's cats. Or cats. Shit, I can't even remember. <laughs> and that's your currency. And in the beginning, it's quite hard to actually get a decent amount of money. So what I did on my first playthrough is that I actually went here to Squin and I mined this cop well, iron node here. And this copper. For I don't know how many hours just uh, for like a party of 10 people. But then I also started alone. Okay, what are these? Oh, nomads. Good. I'm not going to be eaten this quick. One of the mods I have installed is Recruit All and some... Oh, no, 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 don't go down there. Or was it safe? No, was not safe. That's bandits. I am not going to fight with those right now. Yes, Recruit All and some talk mode so they chat more on the run. Some people say that the Recruit All mod is game breaking and in some parts I can actually understand and I agree to it because you can basically just knock someone out, put them in a cage and then they can join you. Even give you reputation boosts to whatever faction they belong to. Welcome to the hub. I think I started in the hub on my first playthrough. Yes I did because you have some uh, items just laying around that you can actually pick up and sell. And they will not respawn, so uh, that's a good thing. Otherwise I might have stayed here for a few <laughs> hours just picking up empty bowls or some other, like wooden bowls and stuff. Old soldier, I have a very important job for you. You're going to pick up this bowl. There it is. That's a big bowl. I'm a bit nervous walking around with this guy because he has a bounty on his head. Alright, let's see. We have 4,000 cats, so let's see whatever. He does not have any repair kits, but they are very expensive. At least he's not eating, so I guess I have to buy some dried fish for my crew. As long as I can afford any of this. Uh, you will have to get one of those, and old soldier, you will be granted a piece of bread. For now. I'm going to turn you in for 20,000. Sorry, I've decided. Your faith has been sealed, I'm going to trade you in for money. So, after restarting the game, realizing I was back where I started, ran all the way back to the hub, crashed again? Had to run all the way back, got killed on the way, started back. I think I made this run like five or six times, and hopefully this time it will not crash. But the other problem, I, the problem I had this time, is that I can't go inside this building to take the stuff. But on the good side, and on a good note, this guy just walked in the bar, and that is not. A setup or a bar joke. Aramid. So I'm going to hopefully try and recruit this guy because that is one mouth less to feed and one more companion. I also need to figure out a name for my my crew. So uh, I'm going to see what I can loot. Uh, only a little bit here and there. So we'll see how much I get and. Let's see how much Aramin costs to hire. Actually, I'm going to recruit him right now because I don't want this game to crash again and he won't be here. Aramin, get your butt over here. 3,000 cats? Sure, you can have 3,000 cats. I don't like cats. Oh, I get to customize you. Here we go. I, I like that name. Hmm. 
we're going to be in the Foglands, so a darker metal look to him should be just fine. Yosuke, where are you running? And also, before I forget... Save. Okay, now I can crash. <laughs> did I send Yosuke to loop instead? Maybe I did. Alright. Please don't crash this time. I need this money. <laughs> I'm down to a thousand cats. And they won't multiply like normal cats. I'm actually a bit terrified of going into the bar and sell this stuff because I have a feeling it's going to crash. It feels like all the times I've crashed has been when I talked to the bartender. And I've also disabled two mods that I had that I don't really need to use. For example, the paint mod because it, well, it doesn't really work. And another mod that was just some content adding. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> content. See, I'm talking to the bartender again and the game crashed. So I'm just going to avoid this place completely and just take my companion and head over to the Holy Nation and give him the old, the old soldier. I don't know if he's going to be killed, enslaved or finally if he's going to be uh, released after some hours or days in a jail cell. I don't know. But he has no gear on him so fine. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back for the millionth time, so, uh... <sighs> Fingers crossed. To the Fog Nation. Commence. Well, ahead. I don't know what to say. No, Aramid. Run together. Is that a bar? Huh. Let's see if we can find another skeleton in there. Just real quick. Oh, rebel base. Do I dare to go inside? Uh, probably not, but uh, I can always reload. <laughs> okay, nothing really special in here. Uh. Is that... Yep, that is black ninjas. No, it was shinobi. Shinobi guards. Not too hostile then. That's good. I don't think they have anything against skeletons. Nope. <laughs> Perfect. There we go, there's stack. So I'm going to go over there and if I'm not mistaken oh no 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 Did you step in dog poop again? Alright, you two groups, do get out. I've got to run away. No, don't come off to me. Uh, fine, fine. I guess I can take on at least these few hungry bandits. Sadly, they won't have any food for me. And I completely for... Did he already get... No oh, thankful. I thought he already got knocked out. The good thing with Kenshi is that even if you use bladed weapons, the chances of you losing a limb is quite small. And most of the times I actually just get knocked out. And that's going to change. And there's Cot. He went down. Did they break your leg? I'm struggling like crazy with the, these few hunger bandits, and the shinobi just slaughtered the rest of them. I'll be back of this short intermission. Oh no, how unfortunate. I crashed. Ah, oh, oh well. No harm done. I did absolutely not get my butt kicked by some hungry, starving, malnourished bandits. No, 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 no. 
don't judge me. <laughs> Okran's Gulf. We've reached Holy Nation territory, which is very dangerous for me, who is playing a skeleton. So I will have to be very cautious. Or Wolf and Aramid is going to be in some trouble. Alright, old soldier. Time for you to uh, see the judge. I'm going to steal your pants. So, finally, after waiting for an eternity, the guy is finally on his throne. He got a 40,000 cats bounty? <laughs> oh, if I had a stealth character, I would kidnap him. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm just going to save, because I can't remember which one I need to pick. That still gives me money and reputation. Take them, brother. It's my pleasure to serve Okran. What about my payments? <laughs> what need is there for payment? Well, I need money to feed myself and my companions. So, oh, he actually gets removed altogether. Huh. I actually believed he would be, um... Uh, still be with me. That's interesting. Now, I'm just going to need... I'm going to check this and see if I can actually recruit him and get him out of there. Okay, I can't even talk to him when he's in there. Gotcha. Oh, well. Luckily for me, I took all of his stuff. So, I have 20k. So, let's see if we can get maybe one more companion before we head in towards the Foglands. Or what I should do. I don't want a fence, I don't want a bard, or hive. I guess regular drifters in here. Actually, I'm going to save the money, and hopefully it will not bite me in the behind later on. So let's get back to the robots. Oh! It actually got put in a cell, in a separate group, okay. I wonder how long it has to be in there. Can I say that somewhere? Oh. <laughs> 400 hours. <laughs> Ouch. Maybe we should do this. Jailbird. There we go. And what should we call this? Fog Hunters. Why not? And that's all for this time. We sold our companion for 20,000 cats, we saved the money in hope to buy something better and more useful later on, or even find a skeleton companion to recruit. Until next time, stay safe, stay prepared, and do as in Kenshi, try to stay alive.